I had the chance to get my hands on a very fast, very light and very expensive device. This is a SanDisk Extreme Portable SSD and it has 2 terabytes of capacity. So that is 2000 gigabytes. This thing is very expensive and I had the chance to unbox it and show you the read and write speeds on it. So in the package there should be user manual, the adapter and the hard drive. So it has the USB 3.1 that has a 10 gigabit per second speed. So it's rugged, IP55 water and dust resistant, shock and vibration resistant and it's very small, compact and light. So let's unbox it. So there you have it. So this is as tiny as you see it. So if we take it out, it's even tinier. Very small device, very light, and very fast and very expensive. There's the user manual. And this is the cord. Very fast USB type C on both ends. And it comes with the old adapter. So if you have an older MacBook or Windows PC, you can connect it that way. You can attach it anywhere. And there is the, the only one connector that is USB type C. So we can connect it both ways. This way and that way. And as I said, if you do not not have USB Type-C on the other end, just put it in the adapter. So it goes with the arrow like this and you're good to go. So next thing what we're gonna do, if you're using an Apple device, an Apple MacBook, the first thing you need to do is go to the disk utility and format the new drive or whatever drive you have to the universal format that is XFAT. Many people are asking me after they copy in huge files on the Windows PC they cannot write on their hard drives when they connect them to the Apple computers. So that's why before you even put any file on your new hard drive, SSD or HDD, whatever you own, you need to connect this device to the MacBook. For the first time, let's zoom in. There you can see, you need to open Disk Utility, connect your hard drive for the first time, and there you can see, this is the SanDisk Extreme SSD. These are the partitions for your MacBook, and this is the external section. You just need to click on the Extreme SSD, and there you have it. It's already in XFAT, but many times the old drives are in Windows support format. Otherwise, you need to click here, Erase, you can change the name of the drive and in the format section usually so there even is no other option for these super fast SSDs like MS-DOS FAT and the X FAT is the right format to choose. We can just change it to SAN Disk SSD, choose X FAT and just click Erase. After you click Erase, that's as fast as a couple of seconds, click Done and there you have it. SanDisk SSD is ready. Now you can quit the Disk Utility app. And we are back on desktop. So to make this video a little bit more exciting, I have here the comparison for a similar fast and ultra light drive that is the Samsung T5. This is the Samsung T5. It has 500 gigabytes of SSD storage. And this one is an old Western Digital My Passport Ultra. So, just to compare these drives, this is the slow drive, this is the HDD, and the other two are SSDs. So, right now we have connected this SanDisk drive and we will open Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. 
First of all, this is a MacBook Pro 16-inch laptop and we will test the write and read speeds on the MacBook first. So let's click start and there you can see these are very, very fast drives. So they show us 2400 megabytes per second when you write a file. So this is 2.5 gigabytes in one second when you copy a huge file. So that is that fast. And 2.7 gigabytes per second its read speed. Now if we want to measure the write and read speeds on the SanDisk SSD, as you can see it's connected here, we just need to click the option button, select target drive and in the finder window on the left side we can see SanDisk SSD. Just click on it and click the open button. And now we click start and these are the speeds for the SanDisk SSD. So you can see these are much slower, but by no means for the external hard drive, these are very, very fast speeds. So 455 megabytes per second on the right side and 519 megabytes per second, 520 on the read side. Okay, let's click stop. Now we will eject the SanDisk SSD with command eject, disconnect this drive, let's put it aside and now we will test the speed for the similar fast and light competitor Samsung T5. Let's connect it, you can see just connected, it says Samsung T5, so here it is and now we do the same test, we will click the settings button, select target drive, we need to choose Samsung T5 and open. Click start. We can see that already it's a little bit faster than the SanDisk SSD, but not by much. Approximately about 500 megabytes per second on the read and 500 megabytes per second on the right side. Okay, let's click cancel. Let's eject the Samsung drive. Come on, eject. Since it's been disconnected, let's disconnect it from the computer. Let's put it aside. And the last drive will be the old school, bulky, a little bit heavier Western Digital Passport drive. It has the old connector. You can see it. I managed to get the USB Type C on the other end. That's a very rare cord. So just plug it in here. And let's connect this drive to the MacBook Pro. So it takes a little bit longer for the drive to connect, but we see it already connected. So we go again to the settings, select target drive. It is called blue all and let's click start. And already you can see that compared to the ultra fast Samsung T5 and SanDisk Extreme SSDs, it shows only about 35 to 40 megabytes per second in the write speed and a little bit more on the read side, it's 95 megabytes per second. So this is the comparison for all hard drives that I have at this moment. And of course, the absolute champion is the MacBook Pro 16 inch laptop itself. And here I am copying a almost six gigabytes file from the Western Digital slow drive to my MacBook Pro. And you see it takes about two minutes for the six gigabyte file to be copied from the slow drive to my MacBook Pro. As you can see, it is the Chicago Bulls game six in the 1998 finals. So these speeds are very slow. And if you need to copy huge files, this adds up hugely. So the file just copied. I will now disconnect the slow Western digital drive. And after I disconnected the drive, as you can see, I will show you the write speed on my MacBook Pro 16 inch internal SSD drive. So what we're going to do, we will copy this 6 gigabytes file and paste it here. So we just paste, that was that quickly. We just copied 6 gigabytes file. This is not a shortcut, it is really the same file. So you can see that was that quick, we can make many copies. Command copy, command paste, command paste, command paste, the time was that quick on the MacBook Pro 16 inch internal SSD drive. So let's delete these copies and let's try the same by connecting the Samsung T5 drive. Let's connect it 
and let's copy the file on the drive and off the drive. As you can see, Samsung T5 has been connected. You can see it here and you can see it here in the finder panel. What we are going to do, we will copy this video file, copy and paste it in the Samsung T5. Let's paste, paste item. And it is as fast as 10 seconds. So not that ultra fast as the internal MacBook Pro 16 inch SSD, but so much faster than the slow Western digital drive. So what are you gonna do? We're going to go to the Samsung T5, the same file we copied here, we will just drop it to the desktop. Here we go. And it's the same speed. The copying speed will be identical. And the last thing, let's do the same on the SanDisk Extreme SSD that we just unboxed. So let's disconnect Samsung T5. It's no more. And here's the last drive. Let's connect the SanDisk. Wait for it to connect. There it is. And, and you'll click a new tab on the SanDisk. It's empty. And we will copy the same file and paste it on the SanDisk SSD paste item and you can see it's about the same 10 seconds that is very fast for a 6 gigabyte file and from the sand disk we will drag and drop it on the macbook's desktop here we go the same 10 seconds so we will eject the sand disk drive and if you want a very fast external ssd you can choose either the sandisk extreme ssd or the t5 from samsung they both are equally fast they differ only by design so this is aluminum metal frame and this is rugged rubber material both are ultra light ultra small and ultra fast and if you like this video subscribe to this channel and my instagram profile at take you through as well take care and let's meet in the next episode of take you through